Denora, Pennsylvania has a checkered environmental history, a fact reinforced by the town's main tourist attraction, the one and definitely only Smog Museum. Brian Charlton. Hello. And, and this is the uh, Smog Museum. This is the Smog Museum. Now, some would say smog is not something to be celebrated, but to be eradicated. We are not celebrating the smog. Are you commemorating we are it? Commemorating the smog uh, disaster and the 27 people who died in it that weekend. And sickening how many? Over 500 people went to the hospital, and literally thousands of people were actually ill. It takes place over the course of a weekend in late October 1948. There was a temperature inversion here in the Monongahela River Valley, and Denora became a victim of uh, its own success, which was what was coming out of the zinc works. What scientists eventually bring it down to is the fluorine gases coming out of the zinc works. That was the toxin that was actually fatal to people. Clarence Mills of the Kettering Institute felt that if the smog disaster had lasted a few more days, that we would be talking about hundreds, possibly thousands dead. This zinc bar would have been used for what? It would have been shipped uh, all across the country to anyone that wants to galvanize their wire or rods or cable, nails, fencing, whatever. What did the woman with the two dogs have to do with this story? Well, actually, that's the tamest uh, pinup I could find and actually put up in a family museum. What this display is kind of showing you is what a typical uh, locker might have looked like in the mill. Brian, that looks like an oxygen tank, huh? The main complaint of people was that they couldn't breathe, and that was the fluorine gas. That's basically. a serious complaint. Ha absolutely. So what the firemen were trying to do, and they were trying to go door to door as best they could. They couldn't take their trucks out onto the street because they literally couldn't see the street, so they had to feel their way around town. This is the source of the pollution, of the smog. This is where the pathogen came out of the zinc works. When this was built in 1915, 1916, uh, this was the largest zinc works in the world. What, what about this topography uh, also contributed to the problem? Uh, the Monongahela River Valley, yes. We have, we have steep hills on either side of the river. You have two dynamics working with each other. You have the idea of the temperature inversion, the natural dynamic, and then you have what's coming out of the mills. And if we were standing here in 1948 on, say, uh, October 29th, uh, we would not be able to see each other as close really, as we are Really? Really? Just a foot, foot, foot away? Right. It was basically, uh, I, I've, I've interviewed many, many people who were working in the mill that day, and they basically said that they could hear people next to them, but they could literally not see their hand directly in front of their face. So it's, like, it's almost like a dust storm, only with smog. Right. Beautiful downtown Denora, not so beautiful Halloween 1948, right? A parade came down the street. The annual Halloween parade, a highlight of the year in Denora, without question. The people who were standing on these sidewalks had a difficult time seeing people actually marching down the street in the parade. Uh, I, I interviewed one lady, uh, she was probably eight or nine years old at the time, uh, telling me that she was dressed as an angel and was marching in the parade. And when she got home, the, the white sheet that her mother had, had used to make her angel costume had turned yellow. Uh, mostly, that's probably from... Uh, she was a from, smog angel, in a way. Absolutely, a smog angel. Yeah. Something good came out of this. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, this is considered ground zero for the DEP, the EPA, the idea that we're going to protect the environment uh, from industrial pollution. Are Denora people proud or ashamed of this whole story? In the beginning, uh, there was a lot of shame. There, the people just did not want to talk about it. People did not want to address it. But now it's, it's something that they realize they're a part, uh, a, a bigger part. Environmental of history. Absolutely, in, environmental history. Brian, if somebody wants to visit the world's only smog museum, what should they do? We're 30 miles south of Pittsburgh. We'd be glad to have you come down and see us. Thank you, sir. Thank you.